Hey guys, this is Austin with Walton's TV, and this is Majistics. First up, we're looking at a couple of brand new items for us. All of these are hot sauces from Pain is Good, and we've been looking to add some new hot sauce flavors for a while, and this is what we've come up with. We tried to get something for everybody in here from extremely mild all the way up to extremely spicy. Our most mild flavor is just gonna be a kind of a, a more plain red sriracha pepper sauce. It is only about 300 Scoville units, so it is very mild, but being sriracha and a hot sauce, it is still packed with a ton of flavor. Next up, it's still sriracha, but this is gonna be a green sriracha, and it's a little spicier at about 550 Scoville units, but it's definitely still a mild flavor. Next, we're going into the medium category, and this is our Louisiana style. This is gonna be about 3,800 Scoville units, so it's definitely a lot hotter than the two srirachas, but we're still not extremely spicy yet. If we wanna move up to really hot, we're gonna start looking at our, our garlic style hot sauce. This one comes in at about 8,500 Scoville units, so this is really gonna start bringing some heat. And last is our Jamaican hot sauce. This one is very spicy and will definitely bring some heat. If you guys like spicy stuff, definitely try this one out. I love hot sauce myself, and this one will even make me sweat a little bit. Um, but definitely, if you guys are looking for a new hot sauce out there, Go to waltonsinc.com and try one of our new Pain is Good hot sauces. Now we're on to our product spotlight. Right now we're going to take a look at our deer and wild game rinse since deer and wild game season is coming up. Our deer and wild game rinse is really easy to use and it's something that every hunter out there ought to be using. It's simple, it's just a carcass spray that you're going to mix in with water and spray on your, on your deer or wild game carcass. And what it's going to do, it's going to help assist in controlling bacteria and microbial growth until you can get your wild game processed and it's going to help protect flavor. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take an eight ounce package and you're gonna dissolve this in water, eight ounces per one gallon, or if you wanna do it in like a quart bottle, use two ounces per quart. You're gonna mix it up until it's well dissolved and then you're gonna spray the entire carcass inside and out and wherever the wound is on your deer or wild game, make sure you spray and concentrate on that area. Doing that, like I said, is gonna help with bacteria growth and it's really gonna help protect flavor until you can go get your deer actually processed. Next up, we got a quick recipe idea for you guys. If you guys haven't already seen it, we did make a Bloody Mary video uh, with our other Pain is Good stuff, and we did use our green sriracha sauce in there. So if you guys wanna see an interesting recipe for Bloody Mary cupcakes and frosting used with our green pepper sriracha sauce, go to meatjustics.com and look for our Bloody Mary post there. Finally, meat hacks. Our meat hack for today is cleaning versus sanitizing. A lot of guys don't realize that cleaning and sanitizing are actually two separate steps. Cleaning is where you're gonna first remove any dirt, grime, fat residue, or meat particles left over on your equipment or working surfaces, and then you sanitize by killing bacteria and disinfecting your work surfaces and equipment. Cleaning and sanitizing is very important because maintaining a clean environment will help you have a safer product and, a, and safer products will lead to a longer shelf life. Then if you guys are looking for specific cleaning products for meat processing applications, what we recommend and what we use here at Walton's in our own test kitchen is some of these products here. If you've got larger areas to clean, I'd recommend using the Nutrisol cleaner. If you have smaller areas to clean, something easy to use is our power foam cleaner. Both of these are degreasers, so they'll really help break up any fat particles or leftover meat or anything that's left on your equipment and cutting boards, things like that, and make it easy to get them all rinsed off and everything off of them. And then once you're done with that, then you're gonna move on to sanitizing. And the easiest sanitizer and my favorite that we have is our 60 second hard surface sanitizer. Um, this is extremely easy to use. Once you're done cleaning and you've done you're done rinsing. All you're gonna do is spray this on and 60 seconds later, it'll be sanitized and ready to go and ready for your next, next usage. Subscribe to Walton's TV, like this video and leave us a comment and visit waltonsync.com or meatjustics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching Meatjustics. I'm Austin with Walton's TV. We'll see you guys next time.